You can trap, you can bake, because trapping is about measuring in grams. And if you're a real ass baker, not some Betty Crocker out the box, add some water type shit, you also measure in grams. So today, I'm gonna bake some cookies, but not just any cookies, I'm baking bacon espresso chocolate chip cookies. Let's go. Now, if you're gonna bake using grams, you're gonna need a scale. Any scale will do. Probably need to use the bigger one though. Now it starts with some fat. Usually recipes call for one cup of butter, but instead I'm gonna use some bacon grease from this morning. Now one cup of butter is about 227 grams. Then we need our sweet, and that's about one cup of sugar to one cup of dark brown sugar. In this case, we're gonna be using 216 grams of white sugar, and for brown sugar, about 200 grams. Once all that's measured out, let's combine our butter and our sugars together. And I recommend using a, at least a hand mixer for this. I mean, you could use your, do it the old fashioned way. Uh, you'll be doing it, you know, you're gonna get a little workout doing it like that. Now you're gonna add in two eggs, one at a time. Now, with a spatula, I'm using a rice spoon here. You wanna fold in about two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And you also wanna add one teaspoon of baking soda that's been dissolved in some hot water. That's baking soda, not baking powder. There is a difference. Now you're done with your wet ingredients. Time to get our dry ingredients together. For this, you're gonna need three cups of flour, about 390 grams, and make sure you run it through a super thin strainer. That way there's no clumps, no little chunks of flour in there. No one wants that. Then it's time to add in the chocolate. Now for these, I'm using a uh, Nestle espresso chocolate. And then you can add in some bacon pieces here too. As much or as little as you want. Now, you wanna fold in these ingredients. Keep folding this in there, making sure the whiteness of the flour kind of disappears. So keep folding it in, don't stop. Hopefully, before you did all of this, you preheated your oven to 350. While the oven is preheating, I'm gonna cover up the cookie dough, let it rest in the fridge, and we'll be right back. Now when you're ready to go, get a cookie sheet, add some cookie dough on there. The main thing is you want the cookies to have some space on the cookie sheet so they're not butt up against each other. So 350, about 10 minutes. And what you're looking for is some nice, crispy brown bottoms, crispy brown bottom. <laughs> uh, so yeah, crispy brown, crispy brown bottoms. That's what you're looking for. And one thing that I found out really helps when you're baking anything, I actually use it for other than baking, but 
is a cooling rack. But after you take the cookies out the oven, let them rest for like a minute, then you wanna transfer them over to the cooling rack. Because if you don't do this, they're gonna keep cooking on this hot rack and you just don't want that. Now after you let them cool for about five to 10 minutes, you're good to go. Crispy brown bottoms. So, you get a nice crunch on the bottom. The top, very soft. You got little pieces of bacon. Mm -hmm. The espresso chocolate chips might be a little overpowering for some, but if you like chocolate covered coffee beans, You've got yourself some bacon espresso chocolate chip cookies. And you know what? You did it using grams. No more cups or half cups measurements. Let's, let's stop using cups for measurements. Let's start using grams when we're cooking, when we're baking. It's more precise. Try it out. Get yourself a scale, even if you're not trapping. And thank you for tuning in. Make sure you go check out the web store, www.brokeappetite.tv. And as always, eat up, stay blessed. Yo, you in for a treat? Broke Appetite, grab a smoke, have a seat. Sound like a plan, my man? Life's a joke, time to eat. A toast to your health, kick back and digest. With Steve Bo, your host, eat up, stay blessed.